All right, time for a uh, look at lifestyle in the arts, Adam. <laughs> Yes, starting things out with uh, the downtown Victoria Concrete. It is set to be covered in color, literally. The inaugural International Chalk Art Festival will feature the work of the globe's best street painters, including Guinness World Record holder Tracy Lee Stump. It's, you know, the amazing thing about this is that it fires up people's imaginations. And when you see an illusion like this firsthand, it's, it, it's fascinating. You want to figure out how it's done, why it works, you know, what, what is it uh, about the piece that makes it so engaging. So what I like to do is I explain my process while I'm working to the public. Most artists stay in their studios when they're working. It's a very isolated kind of existence, but this for me is a nice balance to that because I do get out, I get interaction, and that energy helps feed me while I'm working. Stum set the world record for making the largest street painting. Over the next five days, the California-based artist will transform the floor of the Bay Center with a, a relatively smaller piece, a 3D mural stretching 20 feet by 20 feet. She's one of six street painters featured at the Chalk Fest. The rest will be working along Government Street. Government Street will be closing uh, at around 6 a.m. on Saturday morning at Fort Street and it will close all the way down to Yates Street and uh, we'll be having one block dedicated to professional and local artists and then a second block dedicated to children. People say why do you draw with chalk on the street it's not going to last. Well I like that. I like that it's ephemeral. I like that it's a non-permanent kind of um, application so it really um, teaches me and hopefully the viewers to appreciate the moment and what's happening in that moment and the process and then you know just kind of taking that with you and not being so attached to things you know just let it go it's okay and it's all free the Victoria International Chalk Festival runs through September 16th details available at victoriachalkfestival.com the Royal BC Museum unveiling its new lineup of exhibits today. Uh, it'll, it'll range from local history and world-class photography to northern exploration and war art. A bagpipes were played at this morning's announcement to recognize an exhibit uh, called the Canadian Scottish Regiment Princess Mary's. It's one of six new shows planned for the 2012-2013 season. The lineup begins in October with a collection of rare maps dating back to the 1400s. The capital will also host the new Wildlife Photographer of the Year show from London's Natural History Museum. And the new season will wrap up in May with Race to the End of the Earth, featuring original artifacts from an Antarctic exploration in 1911. It is one of the world's great adventure stories. It has everything that you'd want. Great heroism and courage, tragic failure and, and also triumph. The story of Amundsen and Scott racing to be the first to reach the South Pole. Fantastic, we're going to take you to the South Pole. There will also be exhibits showcasing naval art, Victoria's Chinatown and the Douglas Treaties, the first formal treaties signed with BC First Nations. You can find full details at royalbcmuseum.bc.ca.